Anfield, one of the most storied venues anywhere in the football world. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with the Premier League season about to reach its conclusion, we're just minutes away from kickoff time. It is Liverpool and they face Brentford. Well, what a season it's been, Derek. We've seen everything. Drama at both ends of the table, some spectacular goals and plenty of entertainment. The players, of course, will be looking forward to a break now, but hopefully not before they give us a good game today. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold plays with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Naby Keita plays with Jordan Henderson in the centre of the pitch. And leading the line today is Diogo Jota. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches. And Alex Scott can fill us in. Yep, it was a penalty for Villa. And he got the technique all wrong with that one. He shot it well wide. It remains nil-nil with only seven minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Oh, great attacking play. Able to get a body in the way. Oh, good vision. And the keeper there to deal with it. And he's fired over the corner. And did his job defensively. Strong but fair tackle. I know many people question the wisdom of using him in this position, but you have to say he's adapted well, and if the last few games are anything to go by, this could become a pattern. Yeah, you're absolutely right. He's been terrific. It can be difficult adjusting to a new role, but at the end of the day, you just let the manager worry about that. As a player, you have to focus on putting in a shift for the club, and he's done exactly that. Well, for Brentford, it really was a fine performance and a magnificent result in the last game against Bournemouth. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Yes, that was the all-round team performance, wasn't it? They could have won by more than 3-0. Their fans absolutely loved it. Today would be tougher, though, and I can see them being outplayed in midfield and losing this one. Gives it a go! And a goal! He's put it away! A celebratory moment! Well, here it is again, and having got a touch on it, he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out. It was a good effort, though. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. BC wants to attack from the wide areas. Oh, good looking run. Well, it might still work out for them. Now, options are plenty. Under real pressure here. Well, those stats don't lie. Liverpool haven't controlled the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Spurs game. Alex Scott has all the... Oh, what an opportunity! Yes, and it goes! A healthy lead, and they can only throw away the title now! Well, they've been fantastic all season, and today just rubber stamps it. Just need to see it out now. Well, here it is again. Messi's cross really invites somebody to go and attack it. And then just look at the finish. That's a brilliant volley. Good technique and the perfect contact. So back underway. One goal apiece here. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Messi, in with a chance. 
Was it the denial of a clear goal-scoring opportunity? If so, he's off. And it is an early shower for him. Red card. Well, the outcome was never in doubt. That was always going to be a sending off. And a substitution in the offing. Half time then, and right now they're in position to be crowned champions. But Stuart's 45 minutes left for play, it could yet turn around. Well, as you said, they're in a great position at the moment, but you just can sense tension amongst their fans. They just need to put a good 45 minutes in now. Well, they've kicked off the second half here at Anfield. Space on the flank. And space to cross it. Now, that was never likely to trouble the keeper. Real chance. Well, here's the replay, and I can't believe what I'm seeing here. That's a great bit of play, so skillful. No wonder he's pleased with himself. What a goal that is. And Liverpool get the ball moving again, looking to find a reply to that setback. Making high pressing work for them here. Messi. Can he take advantage? Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. And they're making a change. Coming onto the pitch, number seven, Mario Alberto. Who can they pick out? Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Have a look at the club website or contact the ticket office. And giving the ball away. Well, there's been a goal at the Etihad Stadium, and Alex Scott can give us the lowdown on that. Yeah, it's a third goal for Manchester City. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. Alex, sorry to interject, but a big chance here. Lionel Messi's got past the defenders. In it goes! He's made it a brace for himself. No stopping him, apparently. Well, they made this look so easy, didn't they? But as you can see, the defending is really poor. Where were they? So back underway at 3-1. On apologies to Alex for the interruption. Just to confirm, Manchester City did find the net in that match. And then opportunity it is. And still danger here. Well, the post getting in the way there. Threat over for now, it seems. And he's broken free. today what a performance
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Well, a quick glance at the stopwatch, and I think we can conclude, Stuart, that the title is heading their way. Well, Derek, they're also proving today that they are good champions. They're oh, hang on, Stuart, big chance here. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Waters. That's useful play. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. And there's the final whistle. In a way, this game had an academic quality. Of... There's the whistle, and the celebrations can truly begin in earnest now. They are the champions. And no doubt about it, they've been the best team this season, and they fully deserve this title. What a brilliant achievement for everybody involved with this club. Well, the celebrations will continue long into the night, and don't forget they'll receive the trophy at their next home game. Naturally, we'll have all the coverage of that live here on EA TV.